Hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. How you guys doing? Seems like it's been a minute, but it's only been a week. I have a special guest today, Mr. Johnny Bonier from originally from Amsterdam, but I don't know if you're in Amsterdam now. You're like a world traveler, right? But Johnny Bernier has been an artist pursuing his career for um, quite some time, and he has like a really nice story, and I am honored to have you here, Johnny. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. How you doing, Brenda? Yeah, thank you. Thank you for having me. And right now, I'm in the, I'm in the Caribbean. You're in the Caribbean. Where at in the Caribbean, Johnny? It's a small island called Curacao. Carousel. And it's, it's beautiful. Yes. Some people think it's in Brazil, but it's not. It's uh, right next to Aruba, mm -hmm. right in front of Venezuela, and close to Colombia, wow. St. Martin. It's a small island, nice beaches, hot weather. Oh, you know, it's really hot right now. <laughs> really hot. Don't tease me, Johnny. Oh, my God. I wish I was there on the beach right now with a pina colada. Let's yeah. say <laughs> or something mm -hmm. or anything. But um, so how you doing? What's going on? Blue with you? Curacao. You know the drink, the cocktail? Oh, Blue yeah. Curacao? Mm -hmm. That's our island. That's oh, That comes, that's, we make that. Oh, what's that made with? Red, that? Well, actually... Uh, I think it's with something from a tree here on the island. I think, I think, I'm not sure, but we have the factory here on the island. I've been there and oh. I suppose, you know, but uh, I was drinking too much of the Smurf stuff. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> That's all right. But, yeah. So what you've been up to, Johnny? I know you were in uh, a shout out to uh, SBL, the song Battle League. Yeah, man. Shout out to SBL, Money Best. Shout out to K Watts. Who knocked me out? Yes, yes. <laughs> Who knocked me out the competition? But yeah. shout out, she's 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 amazing. Um, I've been I've been checking her music and 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 really 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 good that she won. I mean, myself, I think also she won. You know, it's uh, I was a little bit salty for two days. I was really like, oh man, you know, I worked hard for that. And and but I think another thing is also I don't want to be in her way because she dope. You know, so I was happy to see her win, and and I want to see her keep winning. You know. Yeah, but you know, they'll have other things. Listen, all the artists are hot. To me, all these artists come with. Um, they already have videos and music and music on all kind of platforms. All of you guys. Oh yeah. Are amazing. Yeah, I like yeah on SBL. There's many artists that are, every day you see like new music. You know, and it's all underground people that do their own stuff independently. Yeah. It's amazing. And it's, it yeah. is awesome. so, and I will be back. Uh, yeah, third, I, third, I don't know. Where can I sign up? I will. I will <laughs> share that money bears. Let me know. I'm there. Yeah, <laughs> I know you will. He he will definitely be calling you. Money bears is definitely on his game. But so, what have you been doing? How did it all start? How do you get from Amsterdam to where you are now? What 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 has been your journey? Well, actually, my father is from from the island, so that's that's my connection to the island, and he went to Holland. And that's where I met my mother. And uh, actually, um, from there, uh, we went back really when I was born, really young. I was, was not even one. I came already to the island, grew up here till I was like eight. And then I went back to Holland. And I keep okay. coming, going back and forth kind of like that. Okay. So I've been really growing up between Amsterdam and the island, which was nice, you know. Mm -hmm. And where did you start your music career at? Where where did you start music? Well, my father was a musician already. So I think, uh, but when I was like, when I was young, I was doing drums. I was trying to be a drummer. And I found out actually, I was not that talented <laughs> with drumming. So, uh, and we had a band and I had to pick something to do, you know? And I'm also not a good singer. So actually, uh, then I, 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 I bumped into hip hop. It was really like like at the age of eight or something like my brother came back with some from with some music from the States because he was a skateboarder and uh, he was doing competitions over there. So he would bring back this public enemy, Ice T, Too Short, all this music I wasn't supposed to, to listen to, but it really caught me. And from there, uh, yeah, I knew like, hey, I'm not gonna be singer, I'm gonna be a rapper, you know, and, and I never stopped. I just um, do you remember your first show? My first show, yeah. Well, my first show, I was like playbacking uh LL Cool J. I'm bad. And 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 that was that was and then I did another show when I was a little bit older, 
I was like, uh, we came actually with our own beats and own rhymes. And I was even freestyling because they asked me to do the same song again when we won. But I didn't want to do the same rhyme. So I kind of kicked the freestyle. And I didn't, freestyle didn't even, that word, I didn't even know what it was. You know, I was just, mm -hmm. my rhymes was finished and I kept rhyming. <laughs> so uh, kind of that was when I was a little bit older. But my first rhyme, I can't even remember that I wrote, like the first hook. Wow. And how old were you, Johnny? Yeah, I was like that age, like nine or so. Oh, my God. Let me hear it. <laughs> you were nine. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. Yeah, maybe I was a little old. Maybe like, no, 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 it was something like that. Dirty guilt, this for a dirty job. Cash in your hand, but running from a cop. Square heads, work from nine to five. But I just hustle to stay alive. That was a hook. <laughs> At nine years old, that was a hook. At nine and actually, I rap the same. I have the same kind of flow. I didn't, you know, I yeah. kept it like that kind of message. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And so just evolve. Where where do you think you found your most music influence? Was it in Amsterdam? Was it in the islands? No, definitely in Amsterdam. Amsterdam is really good hip hop wise. I okay. mean, it's a small city. There's a lot of acts coming. You know, you got some really, well, you had. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm talking about the past. <laughs> but you had really good clubs where, where like, for instance, you would have a show with, with the Roots and, and, and like, really good hip-hop mm. artists just coming, Busta Rhymes, whoever. Just all the time there's artists coming through. And it's a small city, so you kind of almost meet them. I met Black Dot or, mm -hmm. like, Proof, uh, Eminem, Dr. Dre, because it's so small. So it's easier in a coffee shop or one of the, you know, the smoke bars. Nice. You kind of bump yeah. into people. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So, yeah, and it's really a hip-hop city. I mean, hip-hop is really alive in Amsterdam. So, yeah, definitely over there. Here on the island, when I came here, I thought it kind of would stop for me. I thought I would, like, because over here, it, it was more like reggaeton, like, mm -hmm. like, 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 like uh, Latino-type music. Mm -hmm. And the hip hop culture a little bit different. So me coming from Amsterdam, like really into MCing, I was like, oh, I'm gonna, you know, I think that's kind of finished over here for me to be a rapper. And then by like some some dudes, they asked me like, oh, you, can you do like a like a cover song, you know, on a, on a show for us? Can you rap something? I was like, all right, but I don't do covers. I'm a okay. rapper, so I can make something myself. And they were like, oh, they really pushed me to do the cover. But then when I came, I did the song and they were like, hey, that's actually a cool song. Okay, do it. Mm -hmm. And I did the song and the song became like an instant, like, like it became a hit song. And mm -hmm. it was like, yeah, it became on the island, became like an anthem. And it was like chilling on the Antillian, like, like chilling on the Antilles, oh. you know? And that just like uh, kind of there, it, that was like a, a, a crossover because I was working with this band. So they were like a kind of island band. I'm a rapper. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of, for that time, it was like, oh, that, that's crazy, you know? And that song hit really hard here locally. Really? And, and, yeah. And I was kind of, I, I came up with a different name. I wasn't called Johnny Bonero. I came with like Chico Loco as a <laughs> name because I was kind of joking. I was like, I don't want to connect, you know, this. I don't know where this is gonna go. I was serious with my hip hop stuff in Amsterdam and then this island, I don't know. You know, so I said like Chico Loco and actually that became more fam famous or whatever than anything I'd done. So I was stuck with that name, Chico Loco also. Oh, Chico. What does that really mean? Chico Loco, I know the local Crazy boy. boy, crazy boy. Boy, okay. In Spanish, yeah, crazy boy. Oh, wow, okay, you see, and that, that worked out for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then then I did that. I kind of had uh, like a band, live band, and we would perform me rapping with live band, and we did that for a while. And then I moved back to Amsterdam, had a rap crew over there, mm -hmm. shooting videos, uh, dropping mixtapes and albums, and and it's kind of cool because the 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 dude that I was working with, MC called Faro, uh, in 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 Amsterdam, he also from an island. Mm -hmm. And we were we dropped music in, in Holland when we were living there, but now he also moved here. Wow. So okay. yeah, so we both back to our island, back to our roots, and now we still dropping music here. So the, the music just keep continuing with now we're here. Wow. So yeah, we just recently we dropped we dropped uh, we dropped like a song for a movie, and uh, it's a nice movie. It's uh, it's called uh, Bulado, okay. and Bulado means flying fish. 
Wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. My cousin actually made the movie. His name is Ed Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, and he won a big prize, like in Holland. I'm really proud. I'm super proud. Wow. And I'm even like so happy that 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 we get to do the the title song, you know. Wow. But the, the movie is amazing. It's like super amazing. It's about a young girl that is growing up with a with a father and and her um, like um, grandpa. Okay. Grandpa is really spiritual. Mm -hmm. You know, he's into like like back in the days, the island, Indians, mm -hmm. slavery, like really the, the 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 island, like he's spiritual. Mm -hmm. The father, he's a cop. So he's a little less spiritual. <laughs> no, but <laughs> a little less original. No, but he's like really sharp and he's like thinking way different. And those two visions with this girl, this small girl growing up, and she's like a little bit of tomboy, like a rough girl, mm -hmm. like this black girl growing up. Uh like in this right here where we live, you know, where it's where it's also kind of rough, you know. It's a nice story. So so I can't wait until it comes out. Is it gonna be like, yeah. is it gonna be yeah, like I, I can send you a link? The music video oh, was out. Send me the, so, send me the link. I can share that with you. I will it, yes. I I will uh, yeah, the video is nice because you see the island. So I think you would like that. <laughs> yes, I would love that. Johnny, so who influenced you? Like, what rappers did you, like, follow, if any? Oh, uh, many. I think I followed hip-hop. I mean, I mean, there's so many MCs, if you think about it. Yeah. Not just, like, I mean, I can just name one, like, Socrates. Okay. Or, 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 or like, you know, there's, there's so many in the Bay Area, E-40, or you can just... There's so much music and hip hop, even in other countries. So I just followed hip hop, but I would say like the the the, the big people that I like. Mm, I'm really big Wu Tang for okay. sure. Okay. The whole Wu Tang, you know, right. mm -hmm. that whole culture. Like, um, but yeah, I like flip mode. Like I like hip hop. Like yeah, yeah. Like but there's many, many, you know, and and and, and yeah, I'm. I'm I, I'm more the like person that is that is listening to 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 anything actually. If it's dope, it's dope, you know. But outcast, whatever. There's so much good hip hop. Yeah. You know. Yeah. New old, also the new stuff. I like the new stuff too. You know, like. Uh, but they gotta stop killing these rappers, man. Yeah, yeah. Pop that, smoke, yeah. all that news. I love that stuff. But, yeah, me uh, too. Me too. Juice it's World, crazy. you know, like mm -hmm. I really yeah. feel like, like a lot of a lot of good. Like hip hop is my choice of music. Like right. I, even I listen to a lot of reggae or other stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. But hip hop has so much message, has so much creativity. It's mm -hmm. it's, it's yeah. lyrical. Mm -hmm. It is. It is. Even like um. Um, interviewing these artists and watching them on a song battle league. Everybody has such an amazing story to tell, and um, and they put it in their music so artistically, like art artsy. And it's um, I love it. You know, it's just it's nice to hear to hear young rappers, old rappers, all kind of rappers just. Just, just putting their music together and putting their hearts and soul. Listen, I love hip hop. I love. I'm like you. I love all music. I can listen to anything. You know, mm -hmm. but hip hop. I've also been drawn to hip hop. So when you get, what takes you to that mood? Like when you get inspired to like write and like, what what kind of mood do you need to do that? It's funny because sometimes I can I don't have the time to 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 chill out and. You know, I just have to create. Okay. So I would say it's funny. Sometimes it comes fast. Sometimes it's a little harder. Mm -hmm. But I, I just, when I have to create, I just start creating. And I don't stop till I'm finished. Mm -hmm. So I have to get in that mode. And, and like, how do I say? I have deadlines. Or I, I'm in the studio, people waiting. So it's not that I have the, that I'm that comfy that I can say, like, hey, I'm going to drink some honey tea. And then I'm gonna chill out, you know, with this incense, and listen to some, you know. No, I gotta like, I, I work with pressure a lot, but I get the most inspiration from people, you know, from from just meeting somebody, seeing something that can really hit me to write a rhyme or to to make something fast. Right. I just think I, I have to capture this 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 
this moment and, and, and this thing that happened. So sometimes beef, right? Okay. You know, when I'm angry, I can really produce good, but I have a kind of rule with myself where I'm trying to make really positive music. Okay. So it's hard, you know, I, I write easier. Like if I have to diss somebody, or be angry or be <laughs> breaking up Boston, I, I, I can kind of come up with a lot of stuff fast, you know, but okay. if I have to be, make something that, that uh, I can let everybody hear and they get a good feeling from it, I have to really think hard, you know? So yeah. I kind of choose that way. It's hard, yeah. but I'm trying to create something which is not, just happy, you know, because life, no, it's not all positive, but right. where you gonna get, where you kind of get a good feeling, you know, at least, you know, and, and, and that's what I'm trying to create. But uh, ah, there's inspiration everywhere. Oh, I mean, in awesome. everything. And you're also in the negative. Island. You're on a beautiful island. Listen, that's inspiration right there. Shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah a lot. So Especially were you performing yeah. a lot pro, um, pre um, COVID? Were you performing a lot? No, I kind of stopped. Even now, I kind of, um, I have like November one show and it's like the only show on the whole island and it's going to be digital. It's going to be like this, but I'm going to perform like beautiful. We're going to be outside with a whole setting in the woods, yeah. lights, and they're going to stream it with all different cameras. But this is because there's no events and they know it's going to be like uh, close to December. Yeah. There's going to be kind of no Christmas and all this stuff. So they have to kind of entertain people, keep them at home. So they're doing these shows where we perform like that. Virtually. Yeah. No, it's been really bad show wise. And I was doing shows. So it was like, we even went with the COVID, we had kind of situations where there was like police blocking the city. Like, but we still had a show and we performed. But, you know, they were locking down the city because the, the you know? Yeah. Like, yeah, we've been, we, we've been going through some crazy things with that. How is it now? Is it getting better there? How is it now? Well, no, we're an island, so everything hits us later. Right. You know, so now it's kind of hitting us, and we got like we got like a two hundred something people on the island mm -hmm. that have it now. Mm -hmm. But that that's major, and 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 we didn't have all this time. We didn't have. There was no. It was kind of like maybe twenty people, but all controlled. Over here was cool. And then we had all these lockdowns and all this stuff, like really. Okay. And it's here. Yeah, we're getting tired of this lockdown. Man, it's hot. We need to go to the beach and do things. So it's, Yeah, you know, yeah. But we try it's to spread, spread. You know, we don't want it to spread. You know, I, I'm yeah. scared too. I want to do some things, but. Hey, yeah, we stayed in for a while, man. It was like for months. I think they were early with us with, with, the, with the cruise ships and stuff. They, 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 they locked down things really fast here. So we've been already for months kind of in this situation. That ship has got to start. And I love cruises, but no, no, no. So Johnny, what can we expect to hear from you in the future? Uh, well, um, definitely music on SBL because I'm coming back. That's a must. <laughs> Money best. <laughs> oh, when send me, send me that. Yeah, well, when this is over, we we definitely doing like a a show. We you know if I have to put it together myself, I'm, well, I'm fast and gonna let me do that. But just um a showcase, you know. Once this pandemic is, I would love to see the artists performing live. You know, I would just yeah, that'd be nice. That'd be nice because I really interview a lot of artists from all over. You know, it's, it just get everybody together, even if it's just like they come in and they out. Just I think that would be thanks. Cool. Yeah, thanks, yeah. thanks, and, and 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 I appreciate that you that you reached out to me. You know, even though I lost the battle, <laughs> I was like, that's sweet. You know, you come around and you're like, yo. <laughs> you know, I think the battles are just fun, and no, it's it is. not to it be is. taken so serious because, no. especially. I, I, I mean, I take it serious. Hell yeah! I mean, no, yeah. I know, but, I so, but but yeah, it's 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 more love, and 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 it's it's. I see only winners. That's what I see. Yeah, me too. I see only winners, especially this way. This way, people have to call, um, have to log in and stuff. And it, you know, it's hard to get people sometimes to log in and to go on. You know, but I just no. But the truth is the truth. Mm -hmm. Kay Watts had that. She won that. I'm not gonna sit here and be like people didn't log on or whatever. Duh, 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 duh. No, she won that. She 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 got yeah, that. I, yeah, <laughs> I too. your music was a little low. But I'm coming back. 
and yeah, I'm, a, I'm a hard got, worker. Yeah, we got all know? that music thing together now. So we do it again. Um, your music will definitely be different. So we looking for new music from you. You are on YouTube, and where else can people find music? Even I'm gonna put it in the comments below. But um, where else? Um, can you find yeah, maybe I'm not. I'm not lately. I haven't been posting so much, but there's some new stuff coming. I'm doing some like really interesting video like this month. And maybe just Johnny Bonaire on Instagram. Yes. Johnny Bonaire on Instagram. J O H N Y. Yeah. B O N A I R E. Yeah. So, yeah, if you follow me on that, I will start to do some things again, uh, post more because I haven't been, I've been really recording a lot. So I have a lot of stuff, content ready. But okay. now I have to do the videos because you cannot release just audio no more. So I have, I'm doing some videos and and then, and now I have a better team also, you know, like to, to promote my stuff because I was only always writing and, and rapping. <laughs> but I saw some of your stuff on, um, but it was like you were, you had, um, uh, compilations, I think on YouTube I saw, I wasn't for sure, but, um, I, I think I saw like maybe two videos or something that you were in, in, in compilations on YouTube. Yeah. Well, I made it really difficult for people to find me because every country I moved to and as a couple, I changed my rap name. So I got videos on different rap names. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So Johnny Bonaire is one from Chico Loco. You know, you got Ram One. You got like I got a couple of names, <laughs> but that's because I moved all around. <laughs> yeah, but um, we're gonna find you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll find y'all. I'm gonna you know, find I, I, you. <laughs> like in the end, I have to make it in in a way that y'all just see me. You right. Know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then you all your pages and everything, put it on one. Yeah, but I'm, I'm about to work. I'm not afraid to just work. You know, that's why I say, like, you'll see music. You'll see, and your hair and feel it. <laughs> I like your style. I'm feeling it. But, Johnny, I want to thank you um, so much. Appreciate it. follow you. And um, hopefully, I can, um, you can come to New York and, you know. Definitely. Really dope. Oh, it's my favorite city. Yeah. I love New York. Yeah.